In this video, we'll be looking for different types of charts, some more advanced charts again. We have the column chart, which we have seen. We'll go for the column chart, bar chart, pie chart, and also with column and column versus line chart. Let's see that one by one. I have some data here on the screen. If you see quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and some sales done by in every quarter. If I want to create a pie chart for this one, I have to select the data first. Then I can go to the insert tab and click on this pie, word uh, sorry, pie charts. There are different pie charts available, 2D pie, 3D pie, and also there are donuts available. I'll go with the 3D pie because it looks very good for the presentation. Now, in previous video, if you remember, we have seen how to format and, and remove elements. I just want to add the, you know, uh, quarter one and all these options here. So it's easy to understand data labels. Yes, so I've done that. Now, if you see carefully, these are the sales done in the particular quarter, quarter that is quarter four, $6,000, which is done. Now, if I want to go for a presentation, I want to bring this slice, the yellow color slice in front, like in the front itself, how do I bring it? So first thing is I'll open a dialog box. If I double click here, you see it opens a format chart area dialog box. Same way, I'll click on this place and you see that's a format data series dialog box again. And when you click on that, you see there's an option available in this place. That's angle of first slice and pi explosion. So what will happen is carefully see, these are two scroll bars. I'll try to play with them and you can observe what is happening exactly. Angle, so I'll just change it. I hope you're able to see. It is changing the angle of the slice. Now it is what I required. I just, I'll just move it, yeah. Yellow slice, I want to show to the customer that this quarter sales are done better. So you know, you can give me more deals and all. Same, another thing is, if I want to, you know, separate it, these, these all are collated together. If I want to make it explode, so I can just click on this. You see, it, they are getting separated now. They're getting separated and you can show them. This is out of the box, these are all together and so on. Similarly, if you want to bring this, people who have done less sales in that particular quarter, uh, quarter itself, you can just keep on rotating like this. So as per your requirement, you can do it, change it. But right now, I'll not move it anything and this way i'll bring it back and i'll close it this was the long cut method again i'll give you a shortcut method how is it just click on that outside click on the chart click on the slice so right now all points are selected if you observe carefully there are many points if i click again on that line point only one slice is selected now i'll just drag like a pizza slice and it will come outside you see this one similarly if i want to bring this slice outside so i'll just again click on that and I'll bring it outside. So it came out, right? So according to your requirement, you can take it whatever you want and do it. If you only want to show only one slice, let's say if you do not want to show the yellow slice, only the three slice, you can just change the color. How do you change the color? Double click, go to this color and see as no fill, right? And you can click on close, but still the $6,000 are visible. Just go to this place and you can see as data label gone away. You can only show this kind of numbers or slices which are available. So that's the only thing in the pie charts which are available. And uh, if you observe, I have taken only one column of a number. I cannot take more than one column for the numbers in the pie charts itself. So I'll take it on the right hand side. Hope you understood. Next I have that is the column chart. In the previous session, if you remember in the chart three, I've shown you how to create this kind of chart where I had numbers. But now earlier I had text. Now if you observe in this first column, I have the year. These are numbers. Second column also I have numbers. So what will happen if I create a column chart? So I'll first select this data here, selected data, and I'll create a column chart. A column chart, I know the shortcut, that's a default chart, Alt F1. Alt F1, I've created a column chart. But if you see the difference, I am expecting this here into this horizontal row, which is not visible. So what is the problem here? I'll tell you. When you have the first column as the numbers, it doesn't take, it understands as, as the column series itself. So what I have to do is I have to tell him these are not the numbers. These are the labels which I want in the horizontal axis. How do you get it? You get it using select data option. Keep your cursor in the chart. You get in the design tab and you see select data. Click on select data and then you can, you see that is year and sales. Both they have taken here. I do not want year. I want to delete that. I want to bring in the horizontal. That is the axis label. So which one is the horizontal? This is the horizontal. One, two, three, four. If you see. And the legend entries are sales. These are the sales done. So I'll just remove this. Click on remove. They also remove that. Cancel. I'll press Control Z. Yeah, I'll just click on this select data and I'll click on remove once and click on OK. Now it has removed, but I want this year in this horizontal axis. How do I bring it? Again, I have to go back to the same place, select data. 
click on edit it's asking what do you want exactly so i have to manually tell him i want this data i want this data from this cell number that is a2 to a14 a2 to a14 make sure you do not select the column heading otherwise it will create a problem selected that and click on ok so now if you observe 2020 2021 and till 2032 all the years have been shown and click on ok so this is the common problem which you face when you create a column chart with the help of this numbers or dates or any numbers in the first column so that is all how, how you can create it now if you want if you do not like this column chart if you change your mind if you want to go for the bar chart how do you change it you just select that and you can go for chain chart type the long cut method chain chart type and you see there are different types of charts you want a bar chart you can click on this bar chart otherwise the other method is you can just right click on the chart area right click on the chart area and you can get the option as chain chart type one and the same option chain chart type i want a bar chart not the column chart i want a bar chart let me see yeah that's a bar chart select there are many options i'll go with the very basic one to make you understand and click on ok so now it speaks louder what it speaks louder which year has done more sales you can see which year has done more sales easily you can find out it says 2032 has done more sales as compared to any other year so bar chart speaks louder it makes your work easier to understand so maximum presentation whenever you go you can you know use this chart itself so i'll just remove this yeah that's it so that's a bar chart that's the only difference you can keep on comparing also different values in this place if you want you can filter it like this i want to compare only 2020 and 2025 apply so it says which one 2025 has done more sales and you can work on it so that is all about the bar chart there's nothing much whereas we have seen the other part in this next and the last one we have that is the column versus line chart i will create some less numbers here i'll write some small numbers like this and in this place i'll write very small again numbers right so i've written those numbers now what i want to create is i want to create a column versus line chart how do i get it first is i need to select the data and i have the shortcut key alt f1 alt f1 for creating a column chart but i my requirement is not this one I, my requirement is column versus line chart this version is 2016 the steps are little different as compared to previous version what you can do is you can just click on this change chart type the previous thing which i've shown change chart type and i have an inbuilt option which says column versus line means it's a combo chart so i'll click on this combo you see there is a combo given different types of combo available and these are clustered custom combination stacked area but i want this one clustered column versus line chart so i have to click on ok that's it so i've got all this column versus uh, column versus line chart very easily but now if you want to create a parallel axis for this any one uh, column series you just double click on that like this and you can just click on the secondary axis so you see for my data series i've got secondary axis i've got parallel uh, what do you call primary vertical axis and you can just close it so this way column versus line chart and can also be done rest all the options for formatting and all we have seen in the previous video and uh, that's it I hope everything is done yeah so that's all for this video we have seen different types of chart column chart bar chart pie chart and column versus line chart that's all thank you